Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. This time we're going to make something like this. Let's get started. First we need to create a cube. I'm going to change the size. 100, 100. 100. Make this cube editable and let's change the layout and go to UV edit. Inside this layout we need to select UV polygon. Let's go to this area and press ctrl A and change to the scale tool. Put the mouse in the center and until you scale it like that all the way to there. Change to the move tool, select the first face and move it up. Next one Move it right here. Next, move this one right there. This one, move it right here. This right here. And the last one, right there. Let's go back to the start of the layout. Change to object. Make sure the Z axis is in that side. Go to polygon mode and press Ctrl A to select everything. Right click, disconnect, click on the cog wheel. Uncheck Preserve Groups and hit OK. Let's now go to Mesh, Conversion, Polygon Groups to Objects. Now that you have this, let's select everything, move it outside, delete the first one. Let's change the names. This one will be Front, Right, Now let's put everything inside a null. Let's create a null, change the name to objects, and put everything inside. Let's now go to MoGraph, Cloner. Put everything inside this cloner, change the mode to grid array, reduce this one, and I'm going to do 6, and this will be 9. Let's now move it up until you get a space like this one, and move it like that, and do the same like that. So you will have something like this. Select the cloner, middle mouse click and hit C. So now you have a lot of objects right here. Let's create six null objects and put them a name, like the ones that we have in the objects. Now that we have the names, we need to put all the objects, every object in the one that we have right here. To do this, we just need to select the search and let's type the first name. Front. Select all your objects and drag it inside the null object. Next one, right. Drag this one inside the null and so on until we have everything inside every null object. Okay. We have everything inside, so the one that says cloner, you need to delete it. We don't need it anymore. And hit again the search bar. Now we need to connect everything and delete it one by one. So let's middle mouse click in this one. Right click, connect objects plus delete. Middle mouse click on the next one. Right click, connect objects plus delete and so on. All right, so you will have something like this. Make sure the front one is facing like that. So see it is behind this one. Delete the UV tags that you have right here, except for the first one, which is the one that we're going to use. Let's change the layout to UV. Go to UV polygon and press Control A just to be sure that we have everything selected right here. Now let's change the view to front and we will have something like this. With this front right here, let's go to UV mapping, projection, frontal projection. And we have this unwrap. Select the move tool, move this one outside the area, like that. Let's go back to perspective view. And now we just need to copy this one to all of the other ones. Hold down control, drag, 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 and drag. So everything will have the same UV. 
select the second one with the move tool and move this area around here select the third one move this one like that next one move it in the other side this two and the last one right there once you do this you just need to select everything right click on it connect objects plus delete and you will have all the uvs in the same place and it's only one object for all your wall now we just need to arrange everything inside the uv so i'm going to use the rectangular selection select the first one change to move and let's move it like that next one change to move let's move it like this there last one and there now let's press ctrl a move everything like that change to scale and reduce everything just so everything is inside this rectangle a little bit more we now have our uvs inside everything let's go back to layout startup object and right here we need to add this one to a mograph fracture put it inside select the fracture mode explode segments and connect with the fracture selected let's go to mograph effector plane we're going to test all the size with this plane so let's go to parameter uncheck position and select rotation let's try the first one which is this one right here let's go back to uv edit in here we need to go to material double click on this area click on this cross right here and double click right here to create a new texture i'm going to leave it like that it's 2k and we have this new texture add this texture to your object and let's move to layer we need to use an image to check if everything is okay right here in all these faces so let's go to file merge texture and add an image right here once you add your image you will see this one and press no to have it the same size select the new image that you have right now change the size select the transform tool and click like that change the tool so you will have this and hit ok so now let's see which one is this one with the plane effector right here let me check i think it's the pitch area uh, there you go as you can see the image is okay in this area let's bring it back select it again let's move the image to the front one just to see it's okay select this one which is in the side i think this is okay go back to zero select it again click move like that i think it's the pitch but negative yeah click again let's move to this one this is the back one so probably this is the one that we need to check 180 okay mm, it's okay and let's click again the last one which is negative space uh, okay everything goes well so you have everything ready we could use cinema to put all the images so we are working in the same place if you want to do this we just need to first select the first image something around here go to texture selection member delete so we have a small space just for that deselect and now let's add a second image click now select that one move it like that change the size change the tool hit ok you will also need to select let's select this area texture selection ember delete and so on another thing that you could do is to use this uv layout in another program like photoshop or gimp or krita to do that just need to select this one go to uv polygon let's go to layer outline polygons so you will have something like this the color of these polygons you will see right here so you can select any color before you select the outline polygon now that you have it like that you just need to go back to layer create uv mesh layer and now you just need to save texture as and you can use psd and save it so you can open this one in a photoshop and then add your images sometimes it might happen that if you look the one in the back it looks okay obviously 
if you rotate this one it will be a mess to fix this first you need to select all the back faces go to uv command in uv mapping mirror u and then we need to select first row right here mirror u next one next see another one like that and the last one and now everything is fixed so if you uncheck this it will look like a mess behind this one well once you rotate this it will look okay now that we have the images right here we're almost done in case that you want to leave it like that we just need to go to MoGraph Effector Plane and now let's change the rotation like this add a fall off and also we could add a random change it to overlay and we have everything done but if you want to move all these cubes to create a screen or a wall first thing that we need to do is to go to polygon front view and in here with the rectangle selection we just need to select the first ones move it down next one once you finish this remember you need to go to UV edit and also move all of these ones so we you have the same distance like in this area so you need to move everything like selecting and UV polygon select this first row move tool and move it down and so on so you will have everything okay i hope you found this tutorial useful bye